In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make tons of money whilst essentially putting no effort into your videos and why this is actually the best strategy to follow. It's a simple five step system. And before I was following this system, I was literally getting millions, millions of views, creating these excellent videos. However, I was broke and now I'm only getting a few hundred per video, yet I've managed to build my business and have a nice, stable, sustainable business with just these few hundred views per video. Now, onto the content. Step zero is understanding a little bit of context about social media algorithms. Now, the way they work is a bit like a reverse funnel. First, your content gets served to a very small subset of people, and that small subset of people are the most specific to you. They're the best people, the best candidates for people to buy from you. Now to actually make money with social media, we need to hyper optimize for this green stage first, before we can start making this hyper edited and really good content, which gets lots of views, but doesn't actually get you that much money. And this is what the five step process is all about. What then happens after the video gets served to this niche audience is that if it resonates well with that niche audience, it grows a little bit and it grows to the next stage of the funnel where it serves the video to slightly less relevant people. Now, what happens when you don't optimize the bottom end of that YouTube funnel, those first people it serves, is that even if the video does well, it just serves it to very irrelevant audiences leading to not really very good results at all. Now, the first step to optimizing that green bit of the funnel to make loads of money without many views, because that first green bit of the funnel is the most specific and it actually attracts the people that are the most likely to buy from you. That's why we need to optimize for it. You need to get really clear on who you're helping. Now, this can be specific. It can be not specific. It can be, you know, fitness for building muscle. It can be fitness for mums over 40 who have already given birth and want to lose 20 pounds. Doesn't matter too much, but you need to make it as clear as possible because literally everything else depends on this because our videos are going to be made directly for them. And also, little side note, make sure that whatever you're selling your offer is also directly for them. So then you make these videos and you actually have a place to send them to that they will actually want to buy. Next quick one, shameless plug. If you're under 5k a month or you're looking to start your first online business, click the link below to get my help with reaching this freedom that online business gives you. Or if you're already a business owner, I can help you generate tons of leads with YouTube and social media. So get in touch with me via Instagram DM. The link for that is below. On to the rest of the video. Step two is to, once you've gotten really clear on the audience you're helping, is to make videos about their problems. Because if you think about it, all making money is, is solving problems for other people. And the bigger problem you solve, the more money you make. So it makes sense that to make money with social media, we have to show people that we can solve their problems. Now, remember what I said, that green bit of the funnel attracts the best, highest quality people. So what you want to do is make your videos specific to that green bit of the funnel where the most likely people to buy from you actually are. Now on the surface, this will look bad. It will look like you're not getting any views, but hidden what the YouTube algorithm doesn't actually show you is that this is really good for making money because you get the best high quality people that will actually buy from you. Now, practically, if you're selling to businesses, this will tend to be information only because businesses make purchasing decisions based off of information. For example, if you have a $2,000 product that makes someone an additional $5,000 per month, then it's a no brainer. Of course, they're going to pay for it, right? But if you're selling to consumers, to normal people, let's say you're a fitness trainer, you need to add some emotional aspects in there because those people tend to also need some emotional inspiration to buy from you. Now, practically, this might look like a talking head video, like the ones I make a lot. It might look like a loom video, you making some notes on a Google doc and talking over them, you telling a story. But the bottom line is you don't need to put that much time into the editing or anything like that. As long as the video is 
good and it solves their problem, you can just talk at the camera, edit, like cut out the silences and post it because that will get you the highest quality people. That is enough for those people to watch all the way through because they're the most relevant people to your business. So they don't need some like retention tactics to keep them engaged. They are staying engaged because you are solving their problem. Now, step three is to not spend hours on the title and thumbnail. I remember I used to literally spend like a full eight hours thinking of the best possible title and then like five hours in Photoshop making the thumbnail for this video got me a lot of, a lot of views, but it didn't get me a lot of money. So the key word here to use is congruency. As long as there's not a mismatch between the packaging and what's in the video itself, when the right person clicks on it, they will watch it all the way through and your view duration from the right person will be high. So everything is good there. So practically what that might look like, if you're a fitness coach or someone doing fitness YouTube videos, if you make a video with a thumbnail and title that says, how to lose weight while still eating your favorite foods. And then they click on the video and you're describing some like really strict diet that they have to follow. There's obviously a mismatch between the title and the thumbnail, so people won't watch it for very long. And they will also think this guy has just wasted my time and they won't like you very much and they probably won't stick around long enough to become clients. So keep this in mind. Now, step four is all about getting really good at all of the above, all of the previous steps. Get really clear on who you're helping, have a specific offer for them, make content which solves problems for them specifically and make sure that the packaging of the video is congruent with the content of the video. And then all you need to do really is to post incredibly consistently. I haven't missed an upload on this channel since I can remember. I think since I set an upload schedule in the first place, I haven't missed a single video. And what's going to happen at this stage is as you get really good at this, you will start making money and you will start getting clients in because if that congruency is there and you're serving those people in the green well enough, that is enough to get quite a few clients coming in. So don't do anything else. Get really good at all of the above, all of the stuff we've just covered first. And then if you're, you know, if you want more money, just make money more content. Now, only after you take care of the previous steps, only then should you be worrying about creating excellent thumbnails that you spend hours on, editing the crap out of your videos or spending a bunch of money on an editor because then once all of the previous points are dialed in, what will happen is that instead of attracting random people, more random people, more random people, you'll attract the best people at the bottom of that funnel. And as you get out slightly outside of the funnel, there'll be less ideal. There won't be as ideal as the green part of the funnel, but there'll still be quality leads and you'll still be able to convert quite a lot of them into sales. But you must take care of the previous step first for any of that to actually work. Because if you don't dial everything else in first, what's going to happen is you're going to hyper optimize and hyper edit the video and make a really good thumbnail and get loads of views. But what you won't get is money because you haven't optimized for the people you're actually attracting, which means that people from all over the place are coming to you and then you're trying to sell them something that isn't even relevant to them. So take care of all of the invisible stuff first that we've just covered, because if you try to build up on a shitty foundation, it's just going to crumble. All, that, all that's going to happen is you're going to spend a bunch of time and money on making these videos really good. You're gonna get loads of views. It's gonna look like everything's happy and dandy on the outside, but on the inside, you're falling apart. So if you're under $5,000 a month and you're looking to start your own business, get in touch with me. The link is below and I will personally help you with everything and I will help you reach freedom. Freedom meaning you don't have to answer to anyone anymore. You get to do whatever you want with your time. You get to build whatever business suits you. All of this, comes with running your own business. But if you're already a business owner, I can help you generate tons of leads with content. So get in touch with me via Instagram DMs. The link for that is also below. Lastly, for a specific case study on all of this advice and a little bit more advice on doing this, check this video out that's popping up on the screen right now. It's going to show you how I made $7,000 generated tons of leads 
with just a 2000 view video. By the way, I don't know why I'm suddenly wearing hats in my videos, but I've been feeling it recently, so we're just gonna go with it. I'll see you in the next one.